in 2017, somewhere in the remote corner of a Costa Rican jungle, Eligio Lee Bishop, better known by his moniker Nature Boy, began a new way of life known as carbonation. Reflection! Who are we? Carbonation! What is carbonation? The Christ conscious! Who are you? Angels of the Most High, divine angels of life! Who am I? The Honorable Master Teacher Nature Boy! Commander-in-Chief of the Earth Plane, my highest self. A philosophy that attracted several people to join him, he often broadcasted his teachings and his disciples on social media. The group's disturbing approach to spreading their message led many to view them as a cult and as a menace to society. Before there was a white man here, we existed. Before we look into the members of Carbon Nation, who is their leader? Nature Boy, and how did he get started? Today, I'm going to be giving you the most clearest perspective of life that you ever can have. Wait, isn't Nature Boy a prejudice? Isn't he racist? Yeah. How does he have white people there? I've always had this deep connection with nature. And I've all, so I, I basically with my life, I set out to pretty much set an example and live the example and be the example of how we should live. And what I realized is that we're not humans. We're not humans at all. We're an infestion. I'm teaching about nature and natural living. That's why I record everything. All we get is pizza and police. It comes to no surprise that Bishop has a notorious past. He's a former model and barber and also spent time as a stripper and a gigolo. You can become the master of your reality. If you can study Seek ye the kingdom of God first. Everything else is easy. Once you seek you and understand your programming first, everything else will come easy. While living in Georgia, he was arrested for breaking and entering in 2009. And in 2011, he was also arrested for aggravated battery. While no official charges were filed on the second case, he has five new charges from a 2022 case in DeKalb County, Georgia, which we can touch on later. Yeah, I've always been someone that was able to accumulate some kind of money to get out of my situations. But what I realized is the whole judicial system and I, hope, I knew that it was against me. In 2014, Eligio Bishop was trying to clean up his act and his image and became a licensed barber and opened his own shop in Georgia. In 2016, he began his spiritual awakening where he posted on Facebook that the ascension journey has begun. Well, when I set out to do what I was doing, somebody just gave me a quarter million dollars. People just be handing me money. I did good deeds. You know that you did good deeds your last time. When well, you don't know how the hell you got this blessing, but it came out of nowhere. Blessings after blessings have come to me. But I first had a hard lifetime so I could understand everything people go through. So I could know all the information on how to help you. I had a hard lifetime. I came through everything you came through. And now I'm here to be the guru again. I'm here to be the yogi again. He amassed a following of over 17,000 on Facebook and moved to Honduras to start his own tribe, which was initially called Melanation. He made waves in 2017 when he offered to do an interview with CBS News and told the reporter, I'm a cult. Peter, you are a part of a cult. Initially, the interview was prompted when a 21-year-old, Kayla Reed, left her home in Canada and moved to Costa Rica to follow Bishop. What's Nature Boy like? Because he's quite the character, isn't he? Yeah, when I watched the video, I felt like I need to be with them. I messaged Nature Boy this exact same day. I was with Mill Nation within like two weeks. Honestly, of watching the first video, <laughs> wow. What were your family saying at this point? I mean, I don't really consider 